Hi everyone, I hope you are all having an amazing day. Today I'm going to show you a series of macro shots I took of a beautiful emerald dragonfly. This was actually the first time I saw how amazing those tiny water droplets of morning dew can look on their body and wings. This specimen was completely covered with them and it looked absolutely unreal. I also managed to grab a few clips of it as it was drying itself. Before I put the images up, I'd like to share several interesting facts about dragonflies in general, which I'm sure you will thoroughly enjoy. Dragonflies were some of the first winged insects and evolved approximately 300 million years ago. Dragonflies today have wingspans between 2 to 5 inches, but fossils of the dragonflies from the Permian era of about 275 million years ago showed that their wingspan could reach up to 75 centimeters and weigh as much as half a kilogram, just like a crow. There are 5,000 species of dragonflies which belong to the order Odonata, which means tooth one, referring to the serrated teeth of dragonflies. Did you know that in their larval stage they are actually aquatic and this stage can last up to two years? Their diet mainly consists of tadpoles, mosquitoes and even small fish. Also cannibalistic behavior is quite common during this stage of their life. They are expert flyers and only eat prey they catch during flight, so if they lose their flying ability, they will certainly die. Their vision is exceptional, the compound eye of a dragonfly consists of approximately 30,000 hexagon-shaped facets producing a visual mosaic which allows it to see in almost 360 degrees. Their color vision is better than anything we've ever seen in the animal world. Humans have trichromatic vision, which means we see colors as a combination of red, blue and green. This is due to the three different types of light-sensitive proteins in our eyes called opsins. What's really fascinating is that a study of 12 dragonfly species has found that some had a whopping 30 different visual opsins with at least 11 present in each species, resulting in their impressive color vision. Dragonflies are great for controlling mosquito populations. One specimen can eat up to a few hundred mozzies a day, which is a quite significant number. They would be extremely helpful across the eastern part of Australia, especially right now, where due to the excessive floods their population has increased considerably. Unfortunately, they act as virus vectors for serious illnesses such as the Ross River virus or the Japanese encephalitis, which could be significantly mitigated with their help. Some dragonflies are migratory. The crown for the longest migration of any insect belongs to the globe skimmer or globe wanderer with 18,000 kilometers back and forth across the Indian Ocean annually. This is a multi-generational journey where individual skimmers can fly more than 6,000 kilometers. In a mere moment, I'll show you the images that I took, but before that, let me just briefly talk about the gear I used. I shot everything on the Canon 80D with the Canon EF 100mm macro, along with the DCR250 from Raynox for extreme close-up shots, slightly beyond 1 to 1 magnification. For lighting, I used the Canon EX RT2 flash with my usual diffuser reflector kit. The exposure settings were the following. For aperture, I stuck with my go-to aperture of f14, which gave me plenty of depth of field. The ISO remained between the base ISO of 100 and 400, and the shutter speed was between 1 60th and 120th of a second.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you like the images as well. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I've got heaps of nature photography and videography content that you might like. Check out all the different playlists and I'm sure you will find something that's right up your alley. Thanks again and see you all very soon in the next one.